Okay, Liam, what's, what was your assessment of, of the weekend's game at Dundee? First and foremost, disappointment that uh, it's another game into the season that we've not won. Um, I think, uh, you know, we're putting enough balls in the box, I think. That's a positive to take from the game, that we are creating chances. Disappointing that my goal was disallowed. Um, I don't think Steve McLean's done too much wrong in the build-up to it. And that would have been us right back in the game right after half-time. Um, and then we get the goal and we put a bit of pressure on. Disappointing not to come away with a draw. Um, but back to the hard work now and, and looking forward to a home game against Motherwell on, on Saturday. And what are you expecting from, from Motherwell this weekend? It'll be another tough game. All the games are going to be tough. I think the league's shown that... Um, that Everyone's got to take points off each other this season, um, and we need to, we just want to get that first one and, and go on a run of games, add a bit of consistency, uh, and start climbing the table. What have you made of Motherwell's start to the season? Probably up and down. Um, you know, great result for them up at Inverness, the first game of the season. Um, you know, and they'll be disappointed not to have built on that, but they'll be coming here on Saturday, um, trying to win the game, obviously, and you know, it's up to us to. You know, take the positives from Dundee and you know defend better as a team from the front um, and get that first goal. I think that's important. I think the four league games we've always went a goal behind and you know against good opposition in a, in a tight league, it, it's going to be hard to keep coming back from that. So if we can get the first goal and, and make teams come out and attack us and you know give ourselves a chance. What's your memories of the last time that you played here for St Johnston against against Motherwell? Really good ones. Uh, obviously, it meant that we qualified for Europe and to, to get a goal on my my last appearance for the club at the time it was so um, no it was a great day for the club that obviously finished third in the SPL uh, it was a great achievement and um, you know it'd be nice to get a goal this weekend but more importantly it's, it's the the big thing is the club win winning the game again it was the first half it was nil nil um, what's your memories of, of your goal to put Saints one nil up no I just remember uh, falling to me at the edge of the box and taking that taking a touch and you know hitting it and and like I say it was just great to be a part of you know that team that finished third that season, and obviously they went on to achieve even more success the last two seasons. And um, you know that's the good thing at this club. We know we can win games when we when we play well, and you know we're going to have to play well on Saturday if we're going to take anything from the game. Um, would you say that's the best goal you've scored in a St Johnston shirt? Yeah, I'm not sure. There's been it's one of my best strikes probably, but I've scored some important goals over the time I was here but you know it's about scoring important goals now uh, and I'm disappointed that I've not opened my account for the season yet um, you know but I'm getting fitter and stronger as, as each game comes on and uh, you know I need to add a bit of sharpness to my game and you know disappointed not to get that goal at Dens on Saturday um, but you know I know I'll get in areas where I can score goals and um, you know with players like Stephen uh, McLean up top and, and Michael Howard and boys like that supplying you know crosses into the box then you've always got a chance to score. Um, Michael Halloran, a really positive start to the season. What have you made of him as a player since coming in? No, he's been excellent. I've seen a lot of him over the, um, you know, the last couple of seasons, and you know he's quick and direct, and uh, you know we're an end product. Obviously, set the goal up on on um, Saturday, and uh, you know you've seen him out here against Ross County in midweek. That you know you give him the ball, and he's a real danger for us. And uh, you know the more chances he creates, uh, obviously the the more chance we've got of winning games. And what's it like you've been back at St Johnston in a few weeks? What's it been like the last few weeks? It's been good. Like I say, it's, uh, you know, I've settled in well. It's an easy dressing room to come in and settle into. Obviously, I knew most of the players anyway. Um, you know, but I know myself, I need to you know, perform better. Uh, I've not been too happy with how I've performed in games. But again, like I said earlier, I'm getting fitter and stronger. And, you know, I need to add a bit of sharpness to my game. And, um, and I'm sure then you know, I'll start contributing more to, you know, the team in ways of creating chances and, and scoring goals and helping the team climb the table. The response from the fans has been really positive. You, you come back, especially on, on Saturday when you're going to take corners at Dens Park. Oh, it's, it's been excellent. And, um, but it's up to me now to you know, go and repair them, like I said at the start of the season. I, I, and I, I, the only way I can do that is by helping the team be successful. And It's been a disappointing start, but I think a lot of positives to take from the games um, that we've played in. And, you know, just a wee bit more luck, a wee bit better defending. You know, we'll start winning games. There's been a few players out injured from the start of the season, but they're now kind of gradually coming back, especially Chris Miller and Dave Mackay at the weekend. Yeah, and you know, two big personalities and uh, big players for us. And you know, you add Stephen Anderson's not far away from coming back either. Um, you know, hopefully, David Willerspoon will be available again this weekend. And I'm sure the manager's looking to bring one or two more players in as well. So um, I think that's a good thing. We've got a good squad of players here and a squad capable of doing well in this league. And you know, but it's up to us now to put 
um, put performances on the park and, and start playing better to, to win games. Just finally yesterday there was a there was a golf day involving St Johnston fans, people from the club, uh, tell me about that. No, it was a great day out up at um, Rosemount at Blair Gowrie and uh, it was just disappointing that I had to present Scott Brown with uh, the winner's <laughs> award at the end but uh, no, it was great and I think the fans that were there enjoyed it and appreciated it and um, you know, as players going there, you know, a good golf course, the food and all that was great as well so a great day out and um, like I say, back to the hard work today now and, and concentrating on Motherwell on Saturday.